Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? You know it's your boy, Big Country. Yo, like to share this video. Most of all, subscribe. Hit that bell notification when you subscribe. I know I haven't done this in a long time. Y'all was asking me to do it. I ain't done it in a long time because I don't hardly look at wrestling no more. <laughs> you know, that's that's one reason. But um, I'm going to say about the Hell in the Cell. Give y'all some coverage. Or not coverage, but tell y'all um, what happened at, at, at Hell in the Cell. The results of it, okay? We know Hell in the Cell was uh, let, let, let's say day, October the 26th, Amway Center, WWE Thunderdome in Orlando, Florida. Okay, on the kickoff show, you had R-Truth versus Drew Gulak for that bullshit 24-7 title, a big joke title, which uh, R-Truth won that match. He beat Drew um, Golak, so there's no more to even talk about this right here. There's, there's no more talk about it. For the Universal Championship, and, you know, I turned to and did look at, I think, one match. i tell you what match I look at. It was, this match was early. It was real early. Well, I mean, I couldn't believe how early it was, man. You know, the what is it, the first match of the pay per view. You know, it was real early. Roman Reigns defend his championship. Now, I read that, and you can't believe half the things you read, but the rumors is that. Um, Roman Reigns gonna form a stable in which first, first the Usos, first the Usos supposed to be hesitant to be with him, and then soon after that they're gonna fall in line. They're gonna like being with him. They're gonna turn heels and be so supposed to be early when um. Not Jimmy J come back from his injury at 2021. They're going to feud whoever to be the tag team champions and win the championship tag team champion. And Roman Reigns going to have his his stable. So that's the plans what they're trying to do. They're trying to elevate Roman Reigns to a big superstar. And I have to admit, so far, I really am into... Um, I really am into the story because they finally doing the right thing of pushing Roman Reigns as a heel, you know, and I, I just like the story. The question is what are they going to do after this story? You know, <laughs> who Roman Reigns going to feud with next and you know, basically, how how are they gonna really do after this story right here? Okay, we see the next match right here: uh, Jeff Hardy versus Elias. Um, there was no winner for this match right here. Um, you see right here, the match end with a disqualification. Um, when Hardy grabbed a kick car and smashed on Elias, so I guess you could say Elias did win on. on Disqualification. Otis versus me is for the money in the bank briefcase. And this, this, I, I didn't see this match right here. But um, at the end, it ended with a shocker turn. Tucker hit Otis with the briefcase, and this allowed the Miz to win the money in the bank briefcase. It is unclear what this means because Otis and Tucker are on separate brands, but it's clear now that Tucker is going to be pushed as a heel. So, Otis lost the money in briefcase 
which I don't understand how, why they even put it on him. I mean, you know, Vince McMahon was going to never push that big fat joker. I mean, he was going to never push him. I mean, Otis got good charisma. I mean, he has so much good charisma, but he's big, you know, and he's he's a comedy act. That's all he is. Okay, this match. I did saw this match for the WWE SmackDown Women Championship in Hell in a Cell. Barely the champion versus Sasha Banks. Like I said, I did saw this match and I got to tell you something right now. Go out your way and watch this match. Go out where your way and watch it. This was a great match. This was a good match. I'm telling you, this was good. And I haven't seen a good women's championship match probably against uh, Baker Lynch and Ronda Rousey, or last year it was last year two years ago two years ago when Oscar versus Charlotte. I mean this match was good, man, and Sasha Banks did capture the SmackDown Championship. Okay, I turned it off when this happened. The, the WWE United States Championship, Bobby Lashley versus Slapjack. So we have to see together who won this match. Okay, based on this saying this here, uh, this was a late addition to the show. This was a basic match, nothing special. Lashley retained the title after hitting a spine buster and then forced Slapjack to submit to the full Nelson. The other retribution Members attacked Lashley after the match, but the rest of the hurt bench ran out. And, you know, you put a new group in here, Retribution, and they losing. I don't understand this. You know, you put you, you form a new stable, but you have them lose. So I don't understand that. And the, for the WWE Championship Hell in a Cell match, Drew McIntyre champion versus Randy Orton. This shocked me when I saw this this morning that um, Randy Orton won. He the new WWE champion. It, it, it shocked me because you were pushing McIntyre so much. And you have him lost. And I'm very interested to hear what um, people in, podcast, in the podcast say about Drew McIntyre loss. You know, so that is a shocker to me. But Red Norton did one. You see right here? That uh, he went for another Claymore, but Randy Orton duck and hit the RKO to win the title. So that is a shocker right there. That um, and here's a picture. Show you a picture of Randy Orton helling up the championship. It is a shocker to me about it. You would never, I would never thought that this would have happened, but yeah, it happened. So. If anybody saw the matches, put a comment in the comment section. Like I said, I turned to it. I saw one match. Um, that's the first time I saw wrestling live on the TV since the pandemic. I mean, I, I haven't been looking at it. It, it hasn't interested me. You know, I'm the only way I find out what's going on is I look on this site here or I... Or I or I listen to a podcast or something, 
other than that, I don't look at wrestling no more. It, it's all sucks to me. So tell me what you think uh, on this about Randy Orton, the new champion, Shasha Banks, the new champion. Who care about the Miz and stuff? But yeah, I hope y'all have a, a safe day. Remember, wear your wear your mask outside, sanitize, and wash your hands. Peace.